Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're working on a Kenmore old school gas dryer. And so basically this one here is not heating. It will come on fine, but it's not heating. First thing I always check basically, I just build a handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? So we're looking at a gas dryer today. It's commercial. And so basically I always check the vents, make sure the vent is good. And the next thing to check is the thermal cutoff fuse down there. Now that fuse is actually still good. And I temporarily bypassed it just to check it real quick. Um, and so basically there's a component inside here that's not working correctly. It's going to be uh, probably the igniter because I've uh, tried uh, to get continuity on the igniter here and there's no continuity. So I need to get to the igniter in order to do that I have to take the whole front panel off. So in order to take the front panel off this one has two locks on it. This one here is a screw lock. It's simply a screw. The uh, key goes down and then the screw is able to be unscrewed. And then we also have one down here. Now this top has to be taken off. The top timer cover. And then if you look down here, you'll see there's actually a, a screw and a nut down there we'll have to take off. So I believe that's a half inch. You'll need a long, uh, uh, long sleeve half inch to pull that off. And then once you pull that off, then we can pull the top off, and then we can pull the front of the dryer out, and then get to the back. And I'll also recondition the rollers and clean the machine okay, as well. Okay, so I got the front panel off, and I'm inside of this machine now. And this is the old uh, igniter. And you can see there's a whatever, a zit right there in the middle of it, and there's no continuity. And so what's probably happened is, you can see this is starting to come apart here, and that's, there was probably a chunk of metal that fell off and hit that igniter and caused it to short out. And so that was the problem with this. So what I'll do is I have a uh, another good use setup here. So I'll just swap this, and we'll be good to go. If this video video helped you, and or if you need any help, you can contact me. Um, ApplianceWorks at Yahoo.com. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thanks for watching. Okay, so after, just before I put it all back together, I will give it a, a dry test, whatever. And like I said, that's the old one. It's pretty well shot, that thing there. Yeah, so we got it plugged in. Give it a try here. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, it's always a good idea to give it a test before you put it all back together. Make sure everything's going to work okay. Sometimes I put my hand here just to add a little heat to the thermal. Uh, switch there so we can see it's working fine now.